Hello, my name is Kain Son the Genius, and today we continue from step 5 on the Selenium tutorial series step by step. In step 5, we are going to import the test script to Visual Studio. Okay, now this is the test script that we've created. So, for us to import it, there are a few things you know, uh, you should know. Now, this is the namespace, we can change it. Uh, but to make it easier, let's just create a new project that we are going to use this, a new project. Let's call this project the same name as this, uh, this namespace. So, Selenium Tests. So that's the name of this project. All right, so I call this Selenium Tests. All right, so now in this project, I'm going to then add the file that we exported. Okay, so to do that, just right click on the project and say Add. You say Add and choose Existing Item and then locate uh, where we place this Selenium Test script. It was in drive D and in a folder called test cases and we see my test case dot CS. Right, so um, it have added as you can see in my solution here. So we have my test case dot CS. So if I open it, it's very okay, but <laughs> we have problems as you can see. So Let's see where we are. We are trying to import the test script into Visual Studio, which we've done. Let's quickly correct all these errors. So for, for us to correct this, if you right click, you see that um, it doesn't give us anything. So what you do to correct this error is to add references to end units and to open QA. So Right click on references in your project in Solution Explorer. Right click there and say manage NuGet package. That is where you can install end unit. So the first thing that is crying about is end unit. Okay, so just enter end unit and then it will search it out and then you just install it into your project. So just click on it and it installs. The next one is open QA. So open QA will also uh, take care of the other errors there. So open QA. The whether it's lowercase or uppercase uh, doesn't matter. So just go ahead to install it by clicking the install button. All right. So it tells us there is error. So let's just close. So what we are going to do is to uh, search for selenium. Search for selenium. Uh, selenium. So the f the, we can see web uh, driver support and we also see web driver. So let's uh, install our web driver support. And it installs so web driver support also goes ahead to install a driver so if you have done this most likely this errors is going to go away so now this is the test case working perfectly in, in visual studio without any errors at all so now uh, this line here you have this base URL uh, that is the base URL added by Catalon which is also Selenium so that it opens their own website first before it goes to another website I'm going to leave it in mean, that way it's more like the home page so let's appreciate their work by leaving it like that let's not remove it so um, let's now run this for us to run it let's come to uh, the main program oh, 
sorry, let me uh, spawn maximize this uh, later. Okay, it's not working. Okay, good. So I'm going to create an instance of my uh, Selenium, um, an instance of my test case, and then run it. So just say my test case MTS MTS is equal to new my test case. Okay, so if you look at uh, my test case, you find out that we have a, a few methods inside there. The first one is set of tests. Okay, so we are going to set of tests. This is tear down tests when you uh, finished um, executing the test case. You can call this. So let's start by saying in the main file mts the setup test okay so the next one is we now run the test case so the my test the my test case test that is what it's called it I don't know why it's giving it that name so I can now run it by saying uh, mts dot the my test case test okay and after you tear down you, you call the tear down mts of tear down test and that is fine so basically basically you have this is the test that is why you have this annotation here test so this is a method that we'll learn how to use at a different time we also have is a lot present um, I will not worry about this at this point. So now let's run this program. Let's execute the script and see if it's going to open the browser, send the message, and then uh, close the browser again. So let's start. So let's watch the magic as it unfolds. Okay, so it tells us. Um, Unhandled open QA. Okay, so let's solve this problem of Firefox. So I think we are going to explicitly add a Firefox driver. Or I think we may have to build this application build solution. It builds, so let's run. Okay, so Okay, tells us open QA Selenium driver not found. Additional information the gecko driver.exe file does not exist in the current directly directory on the path environment driver. The driver can be downloaded from here. Okay, so open QA Selenium driver service not found exception okay so let's let's go back to add the reference this time we add specifically we add Firefox reference so let's manage NuGet package and just say selenium dot Firefox so you have selenium.firefox web driver. So let's install it. And hopefully it's installed the specific driver for Firefox. So I'm going to rebuild the solution. Rebuild solution. And everything is okay. I'm going to start running again. So you can see Gecko driver now is there, as you can see. So let's watch the magic as it unfolds. It opens Firefox. Let's see. It enters the URL. Okay. Let's see uh, whether I to go ahead to fill the form. The scroll. It's hard to scroll down to the uh, position of the form, and then fill it and sign it. Right. So just. 
So as you can see, if you look at the the address bar area or the title bar, you see that the page is loading. So it's complete loading, and you can look at the place is entering after entering is very fast. It's submitted and then closes. So at this point, we have completed um, compile and run the test uh, scripts in Visual Studio. I hope this has been informative for you. Remember to subscribe if you have not subscribed. And then in the last step, we are now going to edit the test script and then uh, make it do some other thing we want it to do.